we are again, it's Vita time. I am guess I am kind of following the habit of combining my Vita, but hopefully, hopefully, what is hopefully? I, what? I'm probably gonna have to admit that I have admit that I have admitting admissions of the admitting people of the admissions midgets. Uh, okay. So I have to confess, I probably have fallen into the habit of combining my Vita's video, and I hope this is the last time I combine a video, and I hope I just keep making it day by day, so let's just get right into it. So, today's topic, well not today's topic, yesterday's topic, which was the 12th day of Vita, was what excites you. And this is kind of exciting, actually, because thinking about what excites me makes me think of that thing that actually excites me. Am I confusing you, huh? Well going back to the topic of the excitement getting all excited again my phone is going on so let's shut it off um what excites me excites me just bring me on vacation and I'll be so excited if it if it if it revolves around a beach um since like I said I'm summer person and I'm, I need the sun and the beach if we go on a beach vacation it's so beach vacation you know what I mean so if we go and we go into this tropical island and everything's gonna be so amazing and palm trees palm trees make me so happy since we don't have any palm trees around where I live when I see one I get really excited so real life it's not that I'm excited in front of TV every time I see a palm tree don't worry about that but vacation I really something that gets me really really excited but that doesn't happen every day so going back to what happens every day um, what excites me on a normal day, on a normal day to day basis, yeah, I gotta think what I'm gonna say, is just like having something to do, like having a project or having an idea, like, oh my god, I wanna do this, and I just get so ancient, I wanna do it, and I wanna just, it just gets so excited, and I just wanna make it happen, I just wanna do it. I get like just the idea thing and just thinking of like, bring, like that little thing just get me so excited and I keep going, go make that thing and make it happen and it's just like I get so excited and I'm really impatient so I gotta get it done and I gotta get done and I gotta get so, like you know, complete my idea that make me excited so I can keep the excitement going. But this is where the next day, which is today's topic, um, comes into play, which is what is the hardest thing you do and what you do, I think that's how it is. Well, and it goes hand in hand. Like, I get so excited for, uh, for a specific project, but then I get so impatient. Like, my patient just like, when I was born, they just gave me like a little drop, like the salt drop, and that was about it when it comes to patient because when I get so excited, I need to get the project done. I need to get whatever I'm doing done. And I just, like, my excitement makes me so excited that I cannot wait to get it done. So I think the hardest thing about what I do is just be patient and, like, like just get to the end of it because since things take a little bit more time, I usually tend to just stop. Like, I get so annoyed by the fact that I'm not, you know, I'll, I'll finish, finish, at the finish, finish. Well, like a finished part of the project. So I get so aggravated and I don't, I stop. It's just so completely weird and crazy and really ruined my life because as usually people say, you never finish what you start. And that's so aggravated, I try, but I just like my, my anxiousness of getting the project done that just doesn't let me finish it because I get so mad that it's not done yet or anything that will come. Like I think what makes me like what I, I'm, I what is so bad about what I do it's just like, you know, waiting <laughs> and just do things step by step. Like, this happened, let's just make an example. I get so excited, I'm going to make this cake and I bought all the ingredients and whatever. And I start making the cake and I make the cake and I am do it so fast because I want to see how it comes out already that it comes out crappy, right? So I get so annoyed by the fact that it came out so bad or like by the halfway that I know it's not coming how I envision it in my head. I just I don't want to do it anymore. Just throw it out. It's okay. I know it's like uh, I try not to be like that. Like I'm working on it. 
but that is really the truth about me I guess and I let it out and now everybody knows how dumb I am mm-hmm but uh, hope that doesn't stop you watching my next video and hopefully we take it day by day and if I'm yelling I'm sorry because I guess I'm excited and trying to finish this video so it can go up so I can get excited hopefully I don't get aggravated by the time it takes me to put it up and I never do I'm just kidding it's just, just going way overboard, but I'm talking too much. I'm gonna go, and I'll see you tomorrow, and I love you, and I kisses. And like always, forget, or don't forget, forget if you forget, remember to subscribe to my channel. I am going to do a little series called Hacks Life, um, Life Hacks Wednesday, which is just like researching fan hacks about everything. Doesn't matter if you're a girl, a guy, whatever. I'm gonna research fan hacks that you can use in your day-to-day life and then just make your life easier and fun and more actually appreciate the life instead of wasting time of doing something that it would take you one second to do if you do it this way anyways i will see you later i did talk a lot so probably catching up on the days that i left so sorry well anyways now bye kisses